Dr. Thomas Mensah, a chemical engineer, is bringing Ghana's first speed train to life. This is mind blowing. What is a speed train? It's a train that goes very fast. We all know that. In a recent interview on Class FM, where on the taxi driver show, he said this. Take a look at the video. It was because of Nana Ado's visit that you finally decided to come yes. home. To come and help Ghana. Yes. Have they followed up on that? Oh, right now, you know, I'm the one I brought so many programs. Yeah, I'm the one that's pushing with the Minister of Railways to do the fast train in Ghana. Oh, wow. I'm the, you know. So oh, wow. So, 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 so you are bringing fast trains to Ghana? Yeah. Are they the same as the bullet trains? Yes. Interesting. Yes. In fact, when I, when, when, when I brought that idea, Parliament passed a law to have a separate railway ministry mm. that we have now. And wow. luckily now, Peter Mew is the one running the show. Interesting. Yeah, so he's working with us. We're going to have it in Ghana. Accra Kumas one hour. Accra Tamale four hours. Interesting. With a bullet train. Yes. On what rails are they going to be running? Because all these rails have been stolen. Some of them are rusty. Some of them are even houses have been built on them. Uh, we are not talking about the the old lines. No, no, no. Mm. no. These are brand new lines. We call them uh these are wider. Mm. In, 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 you know, they are wider. They are not narrow. It's mm. not narrow gate. Right? Yes, it's yes. called standard gate. Standard gate, right? Mm. And so that you can go fast, turn on the curves faster, and all that. Are they still going to be metallic? Yes, it's metallic. It's real steel on steel. But is it not going to take so long to build this? How no, long would it take? Two years to we'll finish it. Two years to build yeah. across Ghana. Yes. Two years. Yes. Wow. And we are going to have bullet trains in Ghana. Yes. When? Yes. When would we have that? Two years. In two years? Yes. From now? Yes. Wow. So, Doc, are you saying that in two years, this is 2022, 2024, yes. we're going to have bullet trains in Ghana? Yes. In this economic crisis? Yes, you're going to do it. Because I brought financing also. Wow. It's not that I bring, but I have my financiers mm. who are here. Mm. You know, one is working with me here in them group. They want me to commit five billion. For the fast train. Five billion Ghana cities? Yes. No, no, dollars. Mm. And then they wanted me to collect 10 billion. You remember the flooding that's going on? Mm -hmm. I'm working on that with my financiers. We are putting eight feet diameter concrete pipes. Mm. We put in the underground mm. in the flood prone areas so that all the water will go straight into this. Interesting. That's what they do in Dubai, you do in UK. You do in America. And this will take two years to build? That one, we'll try and do it faster than two years. Have you started? Oh, we've done all the designs already. Okay, designs. Okay, yeah, well, we've done yeah. The designs yeah it's, part of the, it's part of the work. Yes. It's part of the work. Yeah. Are you making money from this, dog? We will make money for it, but right now, you know. I yeah. hear a German company is in charge. Siemens, is it true? Yes. What is the German company going to be doing specifically? Oh, the German company, you know, they are the ones that are, they are my partners. Mm. And they are the ones that can do the design, can bring the, and they will put our people to work and hire some Ghanaians. Do we have bullet trains in Africa? Right now, they have five. Five? You know, actually, actually four. Four? Yeah. In which countries? Senegal, Dakar has one. Interesting. Senegal. Yeah, we got our independence before them. Yes, we did. Alstom, I know them very well. They built it. They built it. Interesting. And then, of course, you're talking about Ethiopia has one. Ethiopia? Kenya has one. Kenya has one. Yes. Mm. And then the Morocco. Morocco? How about Egypt? Egypt, my team, Siemens, mm. is the one that's building that one. Oh, they are, they are now building it. Yes. How about Rwanda with all this technology and all that? Rwanda is very, very good. And what we are doing, you know, I'm working with Paul Kagame. Mm. He's the one that's also building the Silicon Valley of Rwanda. So we'll be helping Paul Kagame in Rwanda. You wow. Know, they had wars and all that, but now they are number one. Do you think Ghana is making a good use of you and your brains? Well, they could do more, but, you know, you come in, that's your home. You work with what you have. Well, I'm going to get back to, 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 to that. NASA, NASA, you also worked with yes, NASA, right? Yes, yes. 
Tell me about NASA, North American what? NASA is National Aeronautics mm. and Space Administration. Interesting. NASA created a space agency that take people to space. Mm. Von Braun, you know, you usually go and during the war, World War, they made sure that they, they preserve the scientists. Mm. <laughs> you mm. know, Einstein came from there. Mm. Uh, Von Braun came from there. So Von Braun came, brought him here to the U.S. and they tell him, do the space thing for us. So within 10 years, Kennedy asked him, place a man on the moon. And they did it. Mm. This is interesting. So what did you do with NASA? NASA is very, very interesting. Uh, uh, I probably was one of the few blacks that get into certain, certain parts of NASA. Wow. Oh. Wow. We did space electronics with NASA. A whole lot with NASA. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Had mm. contracts from them, you know. Wow. So you left all this and came to Ghana? Came to Ghana. You must be a patriot then. Very, very strong patriot. Because I can see your flying tire and it's yes. all Ghana. Yes. And you are always wearing this. Yes. Interesting. People will know. Because they call me Ghanaian America. I want them to know this is Ghana. Mm, <laughs> mm, 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 mm. This is amazing. It's going to save about 1 million people a year. That is very good in Ghana's transport industry. At least this will help reduce traffic. This is economically good and it's safe for the environment. So we'll be releasing less emissions and fuel. And you'll be able to travel very fast. So what is a bullet train, you may ask? It's like... It's just like a normal train, but faster and even better. It comes with air conditioning. Mm -hmm. It's like a plane, but very fast. So it's a one-way trip. It doesn't stop frequently like a normal train. So it has its stops and, and stations. Since Parliament is giving him a special train track, that is very good for the country too. The high-speed train moves at a speed of 200 kilometers per hour. That is mostly the top speed of most cars. And imagine that moving constantly without stopping until it gets to its first stop. So this train will be able to move from Accra to Kumasi in less than one hour. This is cool for Ghana and very good. So with all this economic crisis and all, this is very good for the country at least. We can get a high-speed train. I'm Hans Van Dyke. This is Tech Hub GH and thank you for watching.